This is kind of an impromptu video. I wasn't really planning on doing this uh, very far in advance, so this might be a little bit um, unorganized, but I thought today I would show you how to make a newborn bonnet. And this one doesn't require a pattern at all. It basically just, you need measurements. So um, I am happy to share the measurements with you on how I um, make my bonnets or how big I make them for newborns. Um, I found online a few places, maybe some other online tutorials, uh, some pretty standard measurements, but I've actually adjusted those a little bit um, to what I found has fit newborns the best. Uh, the ones that, the other ones I found um, were just too big, and that's a lot of problems with a lot of newborn things is they're really big, um, but I have found sizes that fit best for me, and so, um, yeah, so I have, I went to the thrift store today and got some new stuff. I've got some newborns coming up um, soon, so I needed to get some things for it, so I'll show you what I got from the thrift store today. Uh, this is just a really neutral sweater. Um, it's pretty thick and chunky, but this would look, work really good for a bonnet. Um, one thing I don't like to use on bonnets um, are, you see the bottom of the sweater here? This little ribbed area, um, the, the trim piece down there, it's not very tall. Some sweaters, like, the ribbed part goes, like, really tall or they're really thick. This one's nice and short and thin, and so this would work really good for a bonnet. If they're too tall, I don't think it looks as good um, for bonnets. So yeah, that one works because it's nice and short. I also got this uh, sweater. I have someone who wants a hunter green um, romper. It doesn't look hunter green at all in that picture. I wonder if it's because my light's on here. Um, but this is kind of hunter green. So I grabbed this for them because they wanted me to do a custom romper. Uh, this is just like an infinity scarf, but it's really nice and purple and lavender. Um, and uh, I'll use this for um, one of the poses I like to do with the baby. Um, where they're wrapped, I'll probably put her in a little lavender wrap and then put this over top of her. It's kind of hard to explain. But this is an infinity scarf that I got for 99 cents at the thrift store. So, um, yeah, always things you can use. Uh, okay, this is the sweater I'm going to use to make the bonnet with today. It's pink. Um, again, it has a really small um, border at the bottom with the ribbed part, so that works really good. Um, if you can find a sweater without ribbing, like this one, this green one, that's actually what I prefer. See how it doesn't have any um, you know, trim piece down there, it's just all the same. That's actually what I prefer for bonnets, but if it has a small amount of ribbing, that's not a problem. Yeah, so this is just a pink sweater. Um, it's not in very good shape. It's got, I saw some stains and some snag threads, but uh, you can even sometimes ask if you can get those for cheaper if they're kind of messed up like that, but some thrift stores don't because that's typically what you find at thrift stores is used stuff anyway. Um, okay, got this shirt. This will make a really cute romper um, or hat. So I grabbed that because it was, I think this was a dollar too. So, um, and then this um, kind of caught my eye. I think this will make a really pretty bonnet. Um, you could even use it possibly for a romper or hat. Um, the problem with this is it's such an open weave that when you cut it and then make the seam where I'll show you how to make the seam to make the back of the bonnet where it's going to gather um, it's not going to sew very well because it's so so open there's not a whole lot to sew it to so you're actually going to have to add probably a piece of material um, to the back of this um, so I, I could explain it better if I could show you but um, I'm probably not going to show you guys this one today. Uh, maybe another day. But yeah, those are the things I got through from the thrift store today. But this this pink sweater will be a nice, easy one to show you how to to make um, a bonnet with. So this, uh, since it's a cardigan, the front of it is cut in half. So. Um, if it wasn't a cardigan, it would be better because you could actually get two bonnets out of it, but I'm only going to be able to get one bonnet because that's not going to, you need about 11 and a half inches um, of 
you know, straight fabric, which this, there's the side seam. I'm sorry, that's inside out. There's a side seam to the front. I don't think that's 11 and a half inches. It might be because this is a size. Oh, and usually I wash these first, but um, and then it doesn't even have a size in it. I wash them first, but I'm not today because I'm doing a video. I need my tape measure too. I'll be right back. front panel and see how wide it is. I don't think it's 11 and a half inches, but I'll find out. No, it's like 10 and a half inches, which is it's pretty stretchy, but I just don't think it's quite wide enough to make a newborn bonnet with. Um, but yeah, some some tutorials I've seen online on how to make bonnets say like 12 inches. I find that that's a little too um, too wide for me. So 11 and a half seems to be about just the right fit for a little baby's head. Okay, so I have my the back of my sweater piece laid out. This is a side seam. It's hard to tell in the video, but here's my two side seams for the sweater. So this is the back of the sweater. <clears throat> Lay it out nice and flat, and I'll just start at one of the sides here. I like um, the measurement to be about five and a half from the back of the head to the, to the front of the bonnet, um, and then a total of about 11 and a half inches to go around. So um, I need to make an allowance, a seam allowance here, so I'm actually going to cut my little rectangular piece about six and a half inches. There's six and a half. And then eleven and a half inches from that side. Basically, I'm cutting out six and a half inches by eleven and a half inches of the back of the sweater. I just kind of keep moving my tape measure across just to keep the correct measurement. So there's my six and a half inches by 11 and a half inches piece. This obviously is just a cut edge. It can fray a little bit, but um, I don't think it's gonna fray too much, especially for just putting it on and off and little newborn baby. I don't think you're gonna um, have too much problems with it fraying. Okay, so I'll get rid of the rest of the sweater here. Now what I do is fold over about, let's see, that's the back. That's the front, that's the back. So I flip, um, flip it over and fold the good side over about half an inch. Actually, I cut six and a half inches today. So, I, so I'm gonna actually fold it over about an inch. And I will go ahead and pin this just so I can show you. And if you don't own a sewing machine, this would actually be pretty easy just to hand sew. So all you would need is a needle and thread, and if you know how to do a quick whip stitch, um, it's really all you would need to do. So now you don't have an excuse. You don't need to even need a sewing machine to make a bonnet. Just 
need an old sweater, a pair of scissors, and needle and thread, and then some yarn to make the tie. Okay, so I folded that over about an inch there. So now my bonnet piece will be about five and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. And I might take the tape measure to it just because. Yep, that's five and a half inches, exactly. Okay, so now I'm gonna sew this down because then I'm gonna thread a little piece of yarn through the back of it and it's gonna gather it up just like that. And then I'll make the baby bonnet. pins out as I go. pocket is some down now. I'll trim off my little extra threads here. And then I will cut a piece of yarn. It doesn't have to be long at all, maybe 12 inches at most. And then find my safety pin, which looks like it's missing. <laughs> Okay, I need to find a safety pin. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Thread this through my safety pin. We have more ice out there today. I was really surprised the kids actually went to school this morning, but we're supposed to get more ice um, tonight, so I think school is going to be canceled. This has been a, just such a crazy winter. Kansas City usually isn't so icy and snowy but this year we've been getting a lot of winter weather hopefully it cuts down on the bugs for this next spring and summer okay so what I'm doing here this is kind of taking a while because the sweater is so chunky that the safety pin is getting stuck in there but I'm basically threading my little safety pin with the yarn through this little pocket keep threading it as I go There's the end of my safety pin. And now I've got my yarn through both ends. So then I will pull it tight. It will gather up the back of the bonnet, just like that. Made a little keyhole there, basically. And then you can this can be adjustable. I typically pull it tight and I've never had to change it from baby to baby. It kind of just um, is a one size fits all pretty much for newborns. So I'll double knot it. I'll tie a little, that, that was a triple knot. Tie a little bow. And you could even double knot the bow. But if you do want to adjust it, I wouldn't tie it this well. I just don't ever seem to have to adjust it. And then I'm going to trim off the little excess ends of my yarn here. 
and I have made a baby bonnet, a little newborn. Um, so now we need to, this is where you can get really creative um, and you know, make ties for it. And I'll also probably add some sweet embellishments for a little girl, maybe on that side. Cause I usually, I have my light on my left and usually um, shoot more at that angle um, to babies. I guess the camera right, baby's left. Um, so I would add an embellishment or something on this side. Um, maybe a little floral piece or something. And then like there's some little uh, spots where the sweater has kind of gotten little snarls or whatever in it. So I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. And it gets little balls on your sweater. Careful not to cut the sweater. And then you can also um, use a different variety of materials for the strings. Um, I'm probably just going to use the same yarn that I used back here, but you can find ribbon from the craft store. You can get, um, you could even use some, you can cut off the strip of sweater to put on it. I don't think you, that will tie very well, but I've seen some photographers and other prop vendors making them with just pieces of sweater. Um, you could try to find a matching um, either like t-shirt with a matching pink or some chiffon ribbon and get really creative with whatever you use to tie this round baby's head. But I'll probably just use some yarn and then um, um, you don't need these too terribly long, probably anywhere from 18 to 24 inches each. And then I actually just hand sew the ties. So I'll take, here's one tie. That's probably about two feet, 24 inches long. Here's my bonnet again. So I'll sew the end of this yarn to right at this corner on the inside of the corner. I'll probably put it like at a little bit of an angle, maybe put about an inch of it in and I'll just hand sew that down. And then same thing with the other side. I'll tie the, or sew the other one right there. So, anyways, that's how you make a bonnet. Um, is there any questions? Hi, Jenny. Um, trying to think of what else I wanted to say. I've I've sold a few of my bon or my romper patterns, so that's been really exciting. But hopefully, you liked watching make the bonnet and get creative. Go to the thrift store and buy some old sweaters and start cutting them up. All right, thanks. See ya. Bye.